Welcome back to another edition of Nikki's podcast. Pretty recording. What about what about past life that it trains us so much? I don't know that's me. Are we dealing with past karma? Stay tuned. Welcome back, Mickey. Podcast. I'm your host, Nikki Jasper, or Nicole, either one. Uh, so, yeah, what is it about past life or karma? Are we are we really dealing with past karmas? I mean, all of this are here for a reason. And whether or not you believe it or not, we are dealing with karmas. And uh, so. You, you may not be aware of it or not, but some of us that are more awake than others, especially if you're trying to develop your psychic abilities, like I'm still trying to learn, to learn the different techniques so I can better myself as a reader and so as a psychic seer and medium. So I'm constantly learning and taking classes and getting mentors. I mean, Seriously, we have all of these resources nowadays, and we forget to tap into those resources. I mean, tomorrow we have internet now. Seriously, remember Google Hangouts? I used to have to, you know, play around and see, oh, my life, and my life. I'm going to turn on my TV. It's not a ghost. Oh, turn it down. I have copyright. Alright, hopefully y'all can't hear that much. But I play ambient music anyway. It's so calm, I love ambient music. Especially with fine interval beats. Also, I found a really good explanation about the very topic today. Past, uh, past life comment. Alright, and yes, I've had a past life regression done a few months ago. Along with the UFO depression, and I believe I was the when I was 15. So that's a lot said there. That's why I said it fast. <laughs> and uh, if you have one of my previous books where I'm kind of touched about what it's like if you were end up the UFO, you know, we're out here in the country now. We can see it decide how much, so much better if I can talk. And it's so prettier at night. Sometimes I like to stargaze and once in a great while or blue moon we might see a UFO. Give or take. So I'm not saying it's alien crap, but it's a UFO. <laughs> so um it could be both. Because nowadays we have drones, right? Drones, did I see that right? Drones I get so much updated with oh my goodness, it's like you can record yourself while you're flying that thing in the air. 
Now I have the old version of drone and helicopter. Maybe I'll show that one day. This my late husband. So I kept that up there. He loved airplanes and he loved everything that was playing. But we actually took a pretty cool and fun ride on a helicopter one day. I never thought I'd be able to handle it. Okay. So I faced that fear. fear. We have to face our fear sometimes, especially with dead and paranormal that so around. Right? You know why? Because we, we know we, we can overcome our fears. Because of our faith. Now, what was it in that one that saying where faith is the absolute sphere? Right behind all. And I've studied the Bible throughout my life. I'm a Christian Baptist as well. I was raised Christian Baptist. Okay, so we don't even think about talking about this stuff. So we connect. So like, well, maybe, maybe it's supernatural. But, uh, that's so much hunting. You know, devil stuff. They will call it devil stuff. Uh, <laughs> We are boys, and I've been doing all that stuff since I was younger, so I dare not say that, but they probably know by now. Yeah, well, it is my life. Anyway, <laughs> hold on. So I found a pretty good explanation of what this stuff we're dealing with has like some karma. And I've had pretty full guests. On previously with Christmas Channel. Christmas Channel is the, uh, not only the grandson of the late Lawrence, Eddie Lorraine Lauren, but also the, uh, Kim and Lorraine's found the, uh, awesome, well, I'm kind of, oh yes, it's hot today, okay, you guys still have, but the Warren Lake Foundation, that call. And by the way, if you guys still need some help with it, uh, uh, your house, whatever location, feel free to contact for Lake Foundation.com. Well, we should have provided links down below. I'm also a member and I do mostly remote viewing, remotely view cases. But other than that, I, I love being a member and spreading the word. Uh, it's the least I can do it, right? Please put in this. Spread the word. But yeah, this explanation is kind of hits it on the spot. You know what I mean? So what it says about past life, whether we are aware of it or not, like you said, we some of us are more so aware of it. Like some of us are more open and you know, I'm awake. What do I mean by awake? We know something about our Psychic ability, right? I know that I'm a psychic seer medium because I've had experiences with them. So straight. So what this is saying here is saying that this is the energy of all our past thoughts, all our past thoughts, our past words, our past actions. Are we paying for better life than we had before because we were we were evil and we we Possibly, um, let's say I can make robber. So now I'm dealing with that pass, and now I have core finances. Who's my thought? Maybe that's why I made bad decisions with money. Because in the past time, I was a make robber. Who's put two and two in the other? No, I can psych it. Psych for that. You just put two and two in the other. We be a psych it. That's how they betray whether or not. When you pass right, one, one of my stories I've been sharing, that I've actually, sometimes it's very rare to see your own past night, as far as I know. And that happened to me when I was younger. So one of my first experiences dealing with past life, glitz. It's, 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 maybe it was a glitch. Maybe it's in a glitch in a matrix that I saw was glitch. That's it. But I was in the back seat when my great grandparents car I made that dark lemonade, whatever it was. Uh, so I was relaxed. I always get a relaxed state of mind, like half away, half asleep. I always get in that state where, uh, this is, you know, you want to do this, especially after you're protecting yourself, 
especially with their shoe. And I use a bum white light shoe. And also, after you protect yourself, you can um, start doing whatever you want to do. Basically. Always make sure you protect yourself. You can use meditative music like the play now. Okay, whatever. So I was back there, right in my own business. All of a sudden, I, I kind of like that, I was like, what are you all about? No. And I wanted you to die. I always ask that you to die. You're like, no, it's not your time yet. I'm like, yes. <laughs> I probably died so many times. I'm like, right. Like, oh, me. Uh, Eddie. The, well, there's, there's two different terms of out of body and the actual projection. And I experienced all that. That can be spent in a video. We'll see. We'll see. Um, how much I've babbled so far. About a minute. Okay. So, going back to more of a story, even. I, um, sorry, I'm kind of mumbling. But, um, yeah, I was my own business. Not see, baby. Or I can't lose time for you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, all of a sudden, I was taking to another reality. Was I abducted then? But I could have been abducted then. My alien like, dropped me off in, in the wrong dimension. Of course, but it's like, oh, oh no, she's back here in the modern era. But what I saw was quite amazing. The first time I accidentally did see my first past life, I know I have, no so I have been Probably travel back here many times and never learned a lesson right. So I hope I learned a lesson right this time. <laughs> oh, my God, I might be a great mentor someday or something. Anyway, uh, or died or whatever. I might be dead. We'll see. <laughs> it's all upon me over there. Kidding. Um, so then that's where I see myself and I always see myself in that part. Like, I only saw my back of my head and my inner self. I didn't see the front part. I tend to happen to be able to see my past life. I know, but you only see your back self. But I noticed that I had long, dark hair. And uh, I was sitting. I'm wearing a dress, brown dress, I believe. Typical Indian attire. Now you have to part the ending, believe it or not. So it's kind of really, and, uh, I don't remember what kind of ending I was back then. I was more Indian than here. But, um, I see myself meditating like, in the middle. You know, just like what I do now. I shouldn't do that. Yeah, it was more nature then. I should be with more nature now. But it's so hot right now, it's hard to do. So I just walk around barefoot. And uh, that's what I like to do, even with my reading. I'll take off my shoe and really put my feet on the, on the floor. And uh, I just feel them, but it makes sense sometimes. It's weird, it's hard to explain. So, um, uh, yeah, so that was the first past night, uh, one of my first past on my seat. By myself, I didn't need a regression that. <laughs> right, guys? And so, the next one, the next past night, it was the second one. The next past night, I saw, I had a regression that, by a very, She's very good at uh, depression, so I highly recommend her. Hey, Mary! Uh, it... Yeah, we had, uh, we had about an hour's work. Well, she had about an hour. I think it was a few months ago. 
And I always give yourself time and kind of a reading or kind of regression. Give yourself one or two months to recover from that. You want to get another reading or recommend. That's why I put it and try to wait, you know, appropriate time. So that way you're in a better state of mind. For me, anyway. <laughs> it might be different for me. What doesn't work for you, it might work for me, like, for So, um, we sat there for about an hour. She was getting me to, uh, relax. It don't take long for me to go under. Seriously. So I've already meditated for a long time and I know how to work with it. So I was like under like, that's why I want to try the assist and method because I know I'm under real quick. Yeah. If you guys want to try it with me remotely, hook me up. I'm dying to try the yes and method. Anyway. If you're not familiar with the yes method, it's where you get two or more of around you. One goes under with black velvet and a top of your ears. And you're just listening to the box. SP7, whatever you have. I'm used to the SP7 box, okay? Let's say I'm running a, I just spit out words whenever I tend to hear. Now me and psychic, it might even work better. Give or take. And then the other person, it's kind of like the Ouija board, but we're doing electronically. And the other person, it's like, they're asking you random questions. So that's why I'm dying to try the SS method remotely, since I don't have a team yet. Or well, I've tried to be on a team and it worked out well. I kind of like being by myself anyway. But I'm open. I'm the open book. <laughs> so what happened was, this word gets real is the same. So I was there, um, my, with my eyes closed. I was relaxed. I was under. And she was being out, like, you know, guided questions. Like, where it was, what I was seeing. I would have kept saying that I remember some of it. I would never say blue me. She says they appeared to be blue. I call her blue. Blue alien. Maybe they were reptil uh, reptilians. Are reptilians blue? I know they're grays. What is a blue race? Is that reptilian? Whatever it was. They were, I kept saying they're tall. These guys were kind of short. They're shorter than me, and I'm short. I'm like four nine. That just a little under five foot. That's what I meant. These guys were a little bit shorter than me. So um, I remember they were all hovering around me. I think since I no longer can reproduce babies, I never did actually talk to that part, but. You know, because my light has passed 20, and we're like, you know, it's no use with our disabilities and everything like that. It's, it's, it's going to be hard to adopt a child. You know, I'm going to love to. I love to, right? And uh, they can sense it, too. They sense, and animals can sense it, too. What do you love to run out? And uh, I, I tell you, when I was working, I had kids come up to me all the time. I didn't run. So, um, that's what I miss about work. <laughs> but I don't miss the labor. But anyway. What I saw in this statue. Past life from my first question. Oh, that was during my third regression. Sorry, my UFO was. My past life. I saw myself. As a regular lady. <laughs> Lady in white, as possible in a white dress. I'm always, oh, lady in white. What is it about lady in white? Anyway, at least I wasn't right. But <laughs> what a joke there. But I had, I think I had like shoulder length blonde hair. That wasn't right, I'm good looking. 
I always have blob carrot. Yes, I have blob carrot. I lost the gray now, but I'm going to get down to expect using blob. Maybe a little bit red this on. We'll see. I miss my red hair. I have red hair. Well, the other have more of a brown, uh, like to brownish, red and blue and blue type of blow. I, I can go either way. I can go with blonde hair or I, I can go with red hair. You know, um, yeah, so I saw that and I saw this part of a, a flip by our help. You know, that, and, uh, so I went outside and I think I lost balance and I went over this cliff. And maybe this is why I had a fear of drowning, especially around deep water in the ocean. Not because of Jones, but what is after? But because of the way I fell over and moved up my pot of heat. You see, right now, stop. Lost balance in this life. And so I'm feeling it in this life. I tell you, I get so dizzy sometimes. You know, it's hard to stand up, so I use a walking cane. Yes, well, time is a walking cane already. So, it's... I always like to keep these topics, like, the very minimal. So, yeah, going back to uh, my next regression, my second one. When I had a UFO regression, then... So like I said before, I see, from what I recall, I have seen the short ruby. Maybe they're not that short, but they're going to be short. Rubies, I don't know if they're repellent. I can't say that word. Do you guys know what I mean? I said it before. <laughs> yeah, I always say it right. Um, capsules. Anyway, plus. <laughs> hey, spirit guys, I have just met my spirit guys. I have two, and then I was me. And, you know, boy, I tell you, sometimes I do a whole video about spirit guys and, and how to meet them and stuff. Maybe I'll do that next week. Well, let's see. A few more minutes left. So, I saw myself in like, it was more like a, um, a doctor's office setting. It was three or four of those blue guys. <laughs> we'll call it blue guys. They look like blue. And, um, I just remember being in the chair. I wasn't strapped down or anything, but I was free to move if I wanted. And I was looking around and all of a sudden I kept seeing they're either window, like, window or flat. They remind me of, like, flat TV screens that we have today. But only more events. They're fairly visible. You're so flat. You know what I mean? And it's all dark. Like, you know, you had to feel that you're being watched. Even more. I had to feel there's something behind that screen. I'm very alien people. And take me to your leader. That'd be a weird. <laughs> hey, if you guys want to help me host my podcast sometime, let me know. I'm open to that as well. I had a great uh, part time host sometimes. Tom Callaway. Hey, if you're watching and listening, you know who you are. And, uh, so you guys great podcast as well. Yeah, the Raider. And, and Jason Park, he was really close. Correct me, you know, Thanks. 24 minutes. Oh, hey, I got you. I'm going to read this article. So it's distributing past life really is like accumulating energy of all our past thoughts. Past words and action. It's like a giant bank account. And, uh, like we're constantly adding or like withdrawing 
It's always like a real big past like climate. Think of it that way. And it can be like negative or positive balance. Remember what I said earlier? Remember what in one of my past life I could have been could have been a big barber, right? In a wild mess, maybe? I think it's one of wild mess. And I've done that era. And I love the 1800s. Who I should have been there too. My family, when I do a research and family tree, we go way back to 1800s. Could have built lanterns. That's right, folks. We are part of the Moot family. Believe it or not. John Wilkes Moot. He would have been my distant cousin. He was also in the arts. That's probably what I came from. That love is getting cool. Boy, if I would have known that, that when I was in college, I would have been all over it. Research. I would have been all over it. In the history, you know, I can hit my mic. Sorry. But I think it's time to end it here because I want to do some writing. Yeah, I took a week off from writing my 20th book. Hey, guys, you want to offer it? Hook me up. And so, my previous book was The Portal Seer. Unseen Shadow. Shadow of the Unseen. <laughs> Off of my head. And there's hard copy, paperback, and Kindle version within all my books. So, you check me out on. Check me out. Hey, I'm up for a date. <laughs> but, uh, Check me out on Amazon. You know, bargainable where we get your ebook. I think from now on, I'm gonna start publishing the ebooks first until I get reviews. Cause getting reviews is like pulling heat. It's hard to get reviews. So that one also, I'm gonna do a request for requesting reviews. Right. So let's see how that goes. And, uh, you guys have a great and stay. Yay! I think that was it anyway. Oh, here's one. Here's my question. How do you know if you have past life karma? I like to say it. So using astrology, we can't establish our, if you're a astrologer, I don't find to use astrology. They know their stuff. Uh, they can use the NATO or Merck times to re determine the type of karma that have brought us into this life. Remember I said about the bank robbery thing? So, and once they discover where, like, let's say, Leo or Saturn or whatever it is. Pluto or whatever. I'm not right, right, this is going to remember all that. I left that you have knives. <laughs> I would have to have my knives everywhere, sticky notes everywhere. I can't remember all that. Um, so, I can't have remember what I'm, I'm researching. Yeah, alone, probably. So I took many knives. And, uh, and of course they always, it's those, what to harm it does for me. It maybe helps steer you in a correct direction. So we left it come back. I think in this life right now where we're at, we are learning from our past mistakes. Right? So we will have to do that again. So let's learn it right now to say. <laughs> so you have a great insight, please. And until next time, peace.